When it comes to discussing mental health at work, we know that this is a difficult conversation to have, especially when it comes to employees being able to ask for help, uh, ask for reasonable adjustments, or even have conversations around disclosure of mental health. We believe that the foundations for a safe and supportive work environment comes from having open communication and honest conversations. A crucial element to this as well is being able to have these conversations without the fear of judgment or fear of negative consequences where employers might have a bit more of a hierarchical relationship. It opens up that, that, that channel for employees to feed back, to have that open line of communication and be able to ask you for support when they need to. It helps reduce the stigma around mental health at work you're able to normalize having those conversations and you actually encourage your employees to have those conversations ICAS actually did a bit of research recently on disability discrimination complaints and what we found is when complaints weren't able to be resolved earlier it was often down to a mismatch or a miscommunication in views or a relationship breakdown when employees can see their colleagues are able to ask for help or they're comfortable and confident to be able to ask for that help, it's a positive example to, to everyone else within the organisation. So trust is important to get to a position where employees can comfortably talk about their mental health. But how do you build trust? So firstly, through having continued conversation, and, and that can be through having regular check-ins with your employees, having one-to-one -one meetings, and having that two way dialogue and a channel for feedback from employees. So, so transparency is important because it allows employers to see that their concerns and their requests are taken seriously. How can you be transparent? Well firstly making yourself visible, having that open door policy where employees can talk to you and can approach you. So if somebody's talking about their mental health, do you have a employee assistance program or maybe a mental health first aider at work that can also support them as well? So employees want to know that when they do raise a concern or is an issue, that it will be handled and that they are being listened to. So first of all, actively listening. So listening to what your employees are saying taking on board what they're saying, validating those feelings and show them that you're listening. When employees see that their employers do take on board what they're saying and they do address their concerns, it allows them to come to them more easily in the future, which then in turn allows you to identify any issues earlier, but it also allows both employer and employee to reduce conflict as well. It costs an employer nothing to be able to have open communication and honest conversations with their employees. That's why it's important to be able to have those continued conversations. Our message is for employers to be able to talk to their employees and employees to be able to have those continued talks with their employers as well. ACAS provides general guidance on mental health at work, but we also provide more tailored support and guidance such as mental health reasonable adjustment support. So have a look at the ACAS website for further support.